All right. The last options we have in our 3 by one flood coverages are to play what we call skinny. You can play Mabel skinny or skate skinny, okay? Mabel skinny or skate skinny. Skinny is a combination of playing match and then skinny or Mabel, okay? It's a combination of playing match and then skinny or Mabel. So what you do is the corner is going to play match coverage. So he's going to play in match versus three receivers, he'd, he'd play a midpoint technique, right? Just like when I get three strong, a fast three, he needs the midpoint. So it's the same thing. The strong safety is going to play match rules as well. So he's going to drop to the curl area. Okay, so he's going to drop straight back into the curl. Okay, and he's going to take the two up and out unless we get a swing deep of three. So unless three goes fast to the flat, unless three goes fast to the flat, okay? If three goes fast to the flat, he's going to come off and go to the flat. If the corner calls an under call because the number one runs a hitch, he's going to go punt one, just like he does in match, to the flat. Otherwise, if two's up or two's out, he's going to match it, just like match. So play match. Play match. Everyone else plays skate. That's skinny. That's skinny. If you're to run Mabel skinny, everyone plays Mabel except for the strong safety in the corner. Everybody else plays Mabel. That's skinny. Whether it's skinny skate or skinny Mabel. Alright, the next one we're going to talk about is why I want to play Mabel skinny versus why I want to play Mabel or why I want to play skate skinny versus why I want to play skate. We're going to start with Mabel and Mabel skinny. So, the number one reason to run Mabel skinny or any type of skinny concept where you're playing match between the strong safety in the corner and you're playing Mabel for everybody else is to handle four verticals. When I run Mabel, just regular Mabel, okay, when I run just regular Mabel, I am stressing, okay, the weak safety, because I'm asking the weak safety in the corner that they need to midpoint two and three, and they need to midpoint one and two, okay? I'm only running with the three on the vert. The corner has to midpoint the one and two, the weak safety has to midpoint the two and three, and if three goes back, right, the mic's taking them back, but this is a long way for this safety to go to take a seam route by the number two, some type of seam by number two. As soon as I play skinny, okay, the corner can play match rules on number one. And now the strong safety can play match rules on two. The strong safety is in a much better position to play the vertical route by number two in the scene, right? And he can play in the outside trail position. And that means this weak safety doesn't have to get as far to help on number two, because he's not having to take him one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the field. Now, the ball has to be thrown high, and this safety can uh, vision the quarterback a lot more, okay? He can stay more in the middle of the field and be less concerned, less stressed by the number two. He can be less stressed by the number two, okay? Which also means, if you have to, because of a mismatch or because of play action, 
you could have the weak safety really lean towards the number three if you really had to because you know the strong safety is going to take two up, up in the same verse four words. So play action doesn't become as big a problem for you. Play action doesn't become as big a problem for you. Um, if If I'm getting routes where number two is running vertical down the field, I really like skinny. So routes where two is running vertical down the field, I really like skinny. Okay? I really like skinny. When don't you want to play skinny, and when would I rather play skate? So the first one would be any quick game routes by the number one, your strong safety is going to be late to. Because your strong safety is having to carry the vertical of two until he gets an under call by the corner and then come off and drive on the hitch, the slant, the quick game. So any quick game by number one is going to be a problem. Any quick game by number one is going to be a problem. Now, what do you want to give up in cover three? Philosophically, the things that are to the farthest part of the field, to the flat, right? In the flat, particularly to the field, to the field in the flat. And so I, if you're okay with giving up this route, the hitch, the slant, uh, the quick game by one, then playing skinny is a good option. But if you want to have somebody in the flat for him on that quick game, then you want to be able to play straight Mabel. Okay, you want to be able to play straight Mabel. Four strong, okay, where the back is coming to the flat is a problem in skinny. It's a problem in skinny because if he's running with the three vertical, you really stress the windows between the curl and the whole defender, okay, when you play skinny. Because you're voiding the flat with, the, with your strong safety. He's no longer in the flat. He's taking the vertical. And so now the situation becomes... The free safety needs to expand so he doesn't get out leveraged by the out route. And so now you have a problem. The curl flat stressor before in fist now becomes a problem. And if the mic now expands, you have this problem in the strong side hook. And so when they give you four strong or they sprint, it can be an issue. I'd rather play skate. I'd much rather play skate. So quick game by one and four strong are the main reasons I'd want to play Mabel or Skate, regular Mabel or Skate. The main reasons I'd like to play Mabel skinny or Skate skinny is one, to handle four verticals, two, to handle vertical routes in general by number two, and then I think it's probably better against the RPO game. It's better against the RPO because of the fact that he can sit on the deeper slants and the deeper hitches by the number two because he's taking them like it's match anyways. Those are some of the reasons you want to play skinny or Mabel slash skate.